right, so our goal for today is to write linear equations. Our goal for tomorrow is going to be writing them using parallel perpendicular lines. So for today, we are going to look at um, writing them using point slope or slope intercept. So as part of the warm-up, I had you solve for the variable. So in example number one, you have 8 equals 4m. So we needed to solve for m, so we divided both sides by 4. And I gave you 8 divided by 4, which was 2. So m is equal to 2. And number 2, the first thing you need to do is multiply 3 times 8. So then we get negative 6 equals 24 plus b. So now we need to solve for b. So we're going to subtract 24 from both sides. And you get negative 30 is equal to b. And in number 3, subtract 5. So you get negative 7 equals 3x. Divide by 3, and we get x equals negative 7 thirds. Oftentimes we try to change fractions to decimals. Negative 7 thirds is an example of one of those cases that you do not want to change it because negative 7 thirds is a repeating decimal. So that when you would try to write it, it would not turn out as nicely. No idea why everything else erased except for that. All right, so slope intercept form, that's the form of an equation of a line in y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. If you recall from Friday, the y intercept occurs where the line crosses the y axis. And the value of x is 0. Uh, there we go. Okay. So we want to find the slope of each equation by rewriting the equation in the form y equals mx plus b. So we're going to add over the 7x. So we are always in y equals mx plus b form. We need to divide both sides by 2. So we get y equals 7 halves x plus 4. It asks me to find the slope. The slope is the value on the x but does not include the x. So the slope is 7 halves. So again, the slope is the value on the x, but does not include the x. If you put the x on there for your like quiz or test, it would be wrong.
fantastic. Okay, find the slope of each line by rewriting the equation. <coughs> and y equals mx plus b form. So we're just going to cross out what's there and do this again. So we are going to subtract 3x. You get 2y equals negative 3x plus 1. Divide by 2. And you get y equals negative 3 halves x plus 1 half. Remember that when you divide by 2, you have to divide the beginning, middle, and end. So all three terms get divided by 2, thus making my slope negative 3 halves Next. So in this case, what you'll notice is that we have two thirds and one half. So we have fractions. It doesn't change anything about the order or system and how we are going to solve it. So we're going to subtract the 2 thirds x from both sides. So you have 1 half y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1. Now in order to get rid of the 1 half, you're going to multiply everything by 2. Because the reciprocal of a half is 2. So 2 times a half becomes 1y. 2 times negative 2 thirds is negative 4 thirds x. And 2 times 1 is 2. So my slope is negative 4 thirds. Okay, go ahead and rearrange the terms in this problem. This is the connection between the two. So you have ax plus by equals c. And we're going to rearrange it to by equals mx plus b. So we'll do the same thing we've been doing. Subtract the ax. Divide by b. And we get y equals negative a over b x plus c over b. So that means the slope from standard form is always represented by negative a divided by b. So the slope of any equation in standard form will always be negative a divided by b. So if you have a line in standard form, its slope will always be the opposite of the first divided by the b. The next thing we want to do is look at how to graph a line in slope-intercept form. So it says the graph intersects the y-axis at negative 2. So if it intersects the y-axis at negative 2, that negative 2 is representative of your y-intercept. It goes through the point negative 4, negative 1. So in order to rewrite our equation in slope-intercept form, I need the y-intercept, which I have, and I need the slope. 
So I need to use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we'll say that this is x2 and y2. And we'll call this x1, y1. So I get negative 1 minus a negative 2 over negative 4 minus 0. 2 minus 1 is 1 over negative 4. So my slope is negative 1 fourth. My y-intercept is 0, negative 2. So that means my b value is negative 2. So in y equals mx, so m is negative 1 fourth x and b is negative 2. Okay, the slope of a line is 4 thirds and passes through the point 0, 4. Anytime you're given a point that's 0, comma, a number, then that number is representative of the y-intercept. So my y-intercept or b value is 4. My slope is 4 thirds. That's my m. So y equals mx plus b. The equation of a line in point slope form is y minus y1 equals the slope times the quantity x minus x1 where x1 and y1 are the coordinates of any point on our line, and m is the slope of the line. So we would have the equation of the line being transformed if we're given a slope and its point. Come on, I changed my screen. So if the slope is 3 and your point is negative 1, 5, then we have y minus 5 equals 3 x minus a negative 1 now the directions ask you to put it in standard form so that means we have to distribute and move some terms So I'm going to add my 5 and subtract my 3x. And then we know that in standard form, the a value can't be negative. So we get 3x minus y equals negative 8. Once again, plugging in your slope and your x and y values, we get y minus a negative 2 equals 2x minus 4, which becomes y plus 2 equals 2x minus 8, or negative 2x plus y equals negative 10 times them by negative 1, you get 2x minus y equals 10. OK, 
because again, in standard form, A has to be positive, no fractions, and we are set. Let's look again at number seven. You have a slope and a point. So y minus 6 equals 5, 6, x minus 5. So you have y minus 6 equals 5, 6, x minus 25, 6. We don't want the 6 in our denominator, so we'll multiply all terms by 6. So you get 6y minus 36 equals 5x minus 25. So then you get negative 5x plus 6y equals, and we added our 36 to our negative 25. So it's really the same as saying 36 minus 25 which was 11. But we can't have our negative, so we get 5x minus 6y equals negative 11. Now, the last one's a little bit trickier because they didn't give you a slope, they gave you two points. So you can't plug in two-point slope form without a slope. So the very first thing I have to do is find my slope. So I see that my slope is 2. Now, when you plug in two point slope form, you can pick either point. I could plug in y plus 3 equals 2x minus 4, or y plus 1 equals 2x minus 5. Solving or working out both would end up with the same answer. I could solve or work out both and end up with the same answer. So working out the left, I get 2x minus y equals 11. Working out the right, I get the same thing. If they're not the same, if I worked them both out for whatever reason, and they weren't the same, then that means my algebra was wrong. Okay. And here it says right in slope intercept form. So you need to be careful of what form it's asking you for. So I need my slope. And it doesn't matter if you do the first point minus the second or the second point minus the first as long as you keep your pairs in order. Either way, I would end up with a negative 2 over a positive 8 or a positive 2 over a negative 8, which reduces to negative 1 fourth. Picking either point, you have y minus 0. 
equals negative one-fourth x minus five. So y equals negative one-fourth x plus five-fourths. So negative times a negative is a positive, and a whole times a fraction stays a fraction. Now, in slope-intercept form, we accept fractions. We are done. In slope-intercept form, you see just that, the slope and the y-intercept. In standard form, it's more helpful for graphing your x and y-intercepts. So each form of the equation has their own purpose. Find your slope. Plug into y-intercept form. Anytime you have a minus a minus, it turns to a positive. If you subtract a one, it's kind of like your common denominator on top and bottom. So you get negative 22 fourths. Okay, your homework is on the next page. You're completing page 87. 1 to 4, and 8 to 21. So your homework is those next pages. It's page 87, 1 to 4, 8 to 21.